Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Izzy, and um, this is the first episode of the How to Trick Shot Guide. It's going to be the first installment of a whole series of episodes I'll be coming out with that'll show you different shots and just different little tips and tricks and stuff, and probably some gameplay and stuff. So we'll go ahead and get into it. This um, this one will the first episode will go on about the setup, and this is my first trick shotting class that I use. Um, I'll start with the, the guns, the sniper rifles. The the only gun that I would recommend using if you're going to trick shot is going to be the intervention, just because everything else doesn't look that nice. You know, in other montages, the Barrett 50 cal does look nice, especially whenever you get a really nice kill feed. But the WA 2000 and the EBR don't look great at all, so only stick to the intervention. In the in the attachments. Uh, the ACOG and the silencer I would stay away from. I use the ACOG sometimes just when I'm messing around and I don't want to be serious in the game. But the silencer will give you way too many hit markers, so stay away from that. The heartbeat sensor, it's ugly. I wouldn't use it. And the thermal. The thermal is, it's a mixed opinion. You know, I like it for whenever I do um, no scopes and such like that because it looks like a little camera. So it's a nice looking. And extended mags. Extended mags have their place in quick scoping and sniping, but for trick shotting, I would suggest not to use them. It's just a waste of an attachment. I would always suggest use FMJ so you get those really nasty wall bangs. And then, of course, this is optional, whatever you want to be. I always, I always pick Blue Tiger just because I think it looks the nicest. For your secondary, um, if you're a new trick shotter or beginner, which most of you will be if you're watching this, um, I would suggest using the top three. Just because you can practice your switches, it's a lot faster with the pistols and the handguns than it is with the launcher. And it also helps you that if you don't hit a shot on a random person that you can pull out your pistols and still kill them. So as to not, you know, get you killed if you're practicing or something. But if you want a really style looking shot, I would always go with the, the launchers just because they're nicer. But if you're going to go for the tempers and you just want a, a nice little pistol switch or something like that, pistol reload, then um, I would go with you know the pistols or anything of that. I use the 44 Magnum Akimbo just because I like the, the double reload. For the equipment, um, the Frag and Semtex I guess can have their place in sniping, but they're one shot use. Once they're thrown, they're done, and you can't really do anything else with them, so I would stay away from them. The throwing knife, it's a multi-purpose item in, in trick shotting because you can do a silent shot, you can throw it to get a kill, um, you can do give and goes, There's, it's, it's a multiple thing, it's, it's highly recommended to use. The tactical insertion, the only thing that tack insertions are good for in trick shotting is to do a tack switch, which is where you pull it up, press Y, double tap Y switch, whatever you want to do um, with it, but that's it, it doesn't have any other offer. The blast shield, um, the blast shield I guess you can use for like switching it on and off whenever you are trick shotting, but it doesn't offer anything else but that. I guess if they noob tube you it's okay to use, but for the most time you'll be using the throwing knife, or my personal favorite, the claymore. The claymore is, you know, it's like the frag in the Semtex, yeah you throw it, or you put it down I should say, and you get the kill, or if you just drop it, you know, it's done. But the other advantage is you can do a really nice no scope called the claymore shot and it's one of my personal favorites so I always use the claymore the throwing knife I've been using the throwing knife more lately just because I've changed my style up a little bit the C4 the C4 you, it's a it's a great tool just because you can throw it um, and kill somebody and you can still use the, uh, the detonator to do a nice shot and it's it's not a bad thing to use for special grenades um, I'm not gonna get into it always use the sun grenades just because you throw them faster and they allow you to try your trick shot without really getting turned on which the flash only flashes them for like a second and the smoke grenade offers nothing but a smoke screen which is kind of useless in trick shotting for the first perk I would suggest using sleight of hand or marathon for the reason that sleight of hand is more used by quick scopers so if you are trying to get a trick shotting it's a it's a nice setup to use just because you're used to it already but if you are used to marathon I would use that or if you want to get a little bit more in-depth with climbing up obstacles and getting faster marathon is always a good alternative to sleight of hand sleight of hand just offers you 
a better, faster way of shooting if you're going to do quick scopes like off of something or something of that nature. It's a lot nicer and Marathon offers you to get to those spots higher. Scavenger, the only thing Scavenger will give you is if you're going across map to throw a nice, um, like if you're throwing a, a throwing knife across map, that's the only thing it's really good for. Or maybe just getting more ammo. But then again, you wouldn't be using it that much because you'll be too busy trying to get the shot instead of trying to find more ammo, which usually the guy will spray you down. Bling, never use bling. You know, you don't need the two attachments, all you need is FMJ. One man army. One man army is only good if you are doing the throwing of like throwing knives or if you drop your claymore by accident. And so I would only suggest that if you're doing equipment stuff or if you want to just get more ammo because you wasted it all because you're doing like a no scope across the map or something. Now for the red perks, I would suggest to always use Stopping Power Pro just because you have the confidence of hitting them and knowing that they'll be dead. You know, sometimes you will get those hit markers and they suck. But this gives you, if you take 10 shots, you know, at least 9 of them will be a kill. And you always get that one hit marker. You know, whenever you quick scope, you get hit markers if you hit them in the leg. Well, whenever you're doing trick shots, you know, that's pretty much the only way you get a hit marker is if you hit them in the leg. Everything else is pretty much a kill. So always use stopping power. You can use lightweight if you are, if you think that you can hit them in the chest every time. But most of the time, you won't or it won't hit them correctly so you won't get the kill but it is a good alternative to use with marathon so you move a little bit faster hardline hardline is only good if you are going to be using your kill streaks and kill streaks so i would only use this in the very beginning if you're going to hard scope and then you know set up for your later for the later rounds cold blooded pro it's okay it's good i guess if in other stuff you know whenever you're like you're you're, you're uh spraying sorry or if you're camping, but in trick shotting, you're going to be pretty much on high open spots where most people can't see you, or you're going to be in spots that are going to be to where you sh you only have like a couple. You may be able to do two trick shots before the guy catches on and goes after you. So cold blooded isn't very useful. And danger close, you're not going to be using any explosives, so stay away from it. Now, as for the third perks, I've been using steady aim just because I wanted to see how much easier it is to no scope and it does make it easier but I don't I don't know I just don't like it too much I was using it just to kind of check it out and see how I liked it what I usually use is Commando Pro just so I can jump off of higher places and not have to worry about having to wait out the whole round before I can get another kill you know it's it, it also helps that if you are getting rushed by a sprayer or somebody's camping in a corner you get the commando lunge which you know everybody knows and hates the commando lunge but it gives you the kill just in case you're scared and then i went in a little bit of steady aim it just makes you no scope a, a lot of like in a if you take a box it'll make you hit inside that box more so that's all it's good for scrambler pro it's not worth it stay away from it Ninja Pro, Ninja Pro has its place in quick scoping, and it can have its place in trick shotting. The only thing is, is that you're going to be having to do stuff on a lot lower basis. You can't be doing them off of high places. Like if you are on terminal, you can't jump off the that little middle platform with the with the propane tank because it'll kill you if you're using Ninja. Now Ninja can help you if you have maybe one man army and you go around killing everybody, and then you switch over to a commando class. So that's pretty much what it's used for. Now as for SITREP, SITREP has its place in the game. It's not very useful for trick shotting because if you are trick shotting you have to have I, well you don't have to, but it's it's recommended to have a good headset, so you really don't need sit rep. And then last stand. If you're in last stand, then you're not doing a trick shot and there's no point in having it. Now for the death streaks, you can pretty much pick anything you want. It's not any there's no recommendation for it I always use copycat just because I like to use it now that was the setup and I'm sorry if I went a little bit fast I wanted to get into everything without breaking YouTube's time limit so if uh, the, the next episodes will be like one shot at a time so they'll be a lot more in-depth and a lot more perfected but if you'd like to play with me you know send me a message or if you would comment rate and subscribe I would appreciate it and if you have any comments on different trick shots you would like to see in the future, if you would message me on here or message me in game, I'd be more than happy to check them out.